Hi, welcome at the Gieten Amsterdam tour. Today we visit the unique hotspot coffee and coconuts. According to them, it doesn't matter which season it is, here is always summertime. That sounds promising, so let's head inside. This is Jasper. I'm one of the owners of Coffee and Coconuts in Amsterdam. We're an all-day brunch cafe where we roast our own coffee. I think what makes us unique is that we do it all. We roast our own coffee, we serve our coffee, we have great food. It's all-day dining, we have fresh juices, uh, brunch, lunch, dinner, breakfast. Amsterdam for us is the it's the vibrant heart of Holland. It's where everything happens. It's always busy. It's such an international community. It suits us. What our connection is with Bali, it's, well, Bali is a place that everybody loves. Uh, everybody loves to visit. Uh, I've been lucky enough to live there myself. Uh, and we met an amazing farmer called Ayu. Uh, with her family, she produces this amazing natural coffee. Um, and we directly import it ourselves and we use it in our blend. The building we're currently in used to be a cinema. It was constructed in 1921, which means that the building is celebrating its 100th birthday this year. Um, it used to be a cinema and um, it was empty when we uh, took on the lease and we turned it into this all day cafe. We try to minimize waste as much as we can um, we basically came up with a whole new subscription model for the people who have our coffee at home. We used to uh, send coffee on a weekly basis to our subscribers, but then we realized that's 52 traffic movements per year and we need to reduce that drastically. So what we came up with is together with this amazing company in Montana, uh, we imported these uh, airscapes and everybody who has a subscription with us um, they get one of these airscapes for free and we send them their coffee on a monthly basis by bike courier in compostable bags. What is it like working in Amsterdam? Uh, well, first of all, that's two parts, right? That's Amsterdam and that's working here. Living in Amsterdam itself is amazing. I love it here. I love the Netherlands. I love coffee. I, I, don't, I can't speak for anybody else. It's, it's, um, it's something that if you really want to do, then there's no other job quite like it. It combines this kind of deep study of the, you know, the moisture content of the beans and the density and the altitude and all that stuff with a, a little more artistic side of, of trying to find these exact moments that the flavor of the coffee is really gonna sing. It's really gonna like start singing you know, beautiful songs to you in the cup. Um, and it's very rewarding on both sides like that. So for me personally, if something is all loosey-goosey as we say in the States, then it's not as interesting because there's not as much um, meat to sink your teeth into. On the other hand, if it's too technical all the time, you know, if I was just sitting doing spreadsheets all day, I'd probably die. Whereas coffee also has this kind of beautiful side to it where you're really creating um, unique experiences, flavor experiences. I first heard about Gießen um, before they even uh, were producing machines, or maybe they were producing them, but uh, they weren't available for purchase yet, especially not in the United States. Um, but I was hearing about it um, through, from experts in the coffee industry, um, and there was a lot of buzz about it. And um, at the time, I was working for Boot Coffee um, in the Bay Area in San Francisco, in the United States, um, with Willem Boot. And he was saying, wait, wait until you see this Dutch machine. Just wait. And I was like, okay, I'm excited. And uh, so I got to roast on the very first one that came into the US um, at his lab in San Francisco. And we, you know, um, I had many hours roasting on that machine. It's a beautiful machine, and um, so that was my first exposure to Gießen. And since then, I've had the chance to work with them in Asia, um, 
in all over the United States, in New York, in Seattle, in San Francisco, and other places. Um, so, and now here I am working with them in Amsterdam. Why did I choose Gießen? Um, well, it was a team choice, first of all. It wasn't just me. It was uh, the whole team here at Coffee and Coconuts. But um, I'll tell you what I tell our customers when they come by and look at it, because we have it here in the shop. And a lot of people come and look. It's kind of beautiful machine, and oh, what's going on here? And they say, what's this? And I say, this is our Dutch-built Gießen W6A. And, um, and uh, they go, oh, Dutch-built. And I think they assume maybe we bought it because, you know, it's just down the road, right? And, oh, just buy the easy machine. And I always say, that's not the case. Just taste the coffee, really. Um, I probably sound like a broken record saying, if it tastes good, then it's good. And you get really great repeatable quality off of it. Um, and so if what you're after is quality in your cup, then you need quality from the machine. You need quality green beans, you need quality people, and you need a quality machine. And you'll get that with the Gießen. But I believe that if you really put in the work in the tasting, then you can make each particular bean sing, as I was saying earlier, sing. Um, and so that's our big philosophy here. Um, when I first came on board with Coffee and Coconuts, I told them, probably in your head, coffee roasting is like somebody always putting beans in the machine and, and, and you know, this machine making beans roasted. I said, of course, that's part of it. But the more important part is the tasting. So I kind of think of, don't tell Jasper this, but I kind of think of our roastery as a tasting facility with a roaster in it. We want to be the best and we want to be recognized for being the best. And there's a lot of great coffee companies here, so that's setting the bar very high, right? Um, and I love the competition, it's not competition, but I love the inspiration we get from other, um, other companies here in the Netherlands. Um, but we're really, really aiming high for that. So what's a signature coffee? for coffee and coconuts. Um, it's our IU. Um, that's our rock star. Um, it's our crowd pleaser, and it also pleases the coffee nerds at the same time. Um, it does really well with milk. It's got great depth, great sweetness, um, and interesting complexity with an aroma profile that I've never personally encountered anywhere else. It's possible that it exists somewhere else in the world, but I've never found it, so we're very proud of it. And uh, I mean, if you want to try it, we can make some for you right now. I'd make you a cappuccino or something. This was our visit to Coffee and Coconuts. Thank you for watching. To stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until later.